I have in front of me here a range of TV distribution amplifiers um, by perception that are available on the tvtrade.ie website. Now basically what they're being used for is taking a signal from a UHF aerial such as this one uh, and uh, boosting it and splitting it to, depending on uh, which unit we're going for here, uh, to two rooms, four rooms, six rooms or up to eight rooms. So if we look here, we'll say the most basic one, there's a single input here, but if we look then at the four-way one here, which I'm just going to cover, uh, we have four outputs here, but we have two inputs. We have a UHF input, and we also have a, um, a VHF input here. Now the VHF traditionally would have been used in the old analog system, but this also doubles as a, an FM and a DAB input now. So we can actually combine a, a DAB aerial, we'll say, along with a UHF aerial, and distribute them to all the TV points in our house. So let's just look at the type of connectors we'd use with it. They use this coaxial, which is a push-in connector. So if we actually look here, we can just see the connector will actually push in like that. Okay? So what I'm going to do is just give a quick overview of how to install one of these. So what we have here at this point is we have a UHF area that's outside, and we want to run it and split it off to maybe four televisions. So we'll grab this power distribution thing, and we simply get the cable, which this would normally obviously be mounted in the attic and would have the different cables connected to it. And we push it in here into the UHF input. And then if we come down along, what we can do is, if we had a cable that was running from one of the televisions downstairs, we'll simply come along and, or a TV point in the wall indeed, push it in here and we'll repeat the process along. And when this plugged in, you, this LED light will happen. And what's happening here is it's boosting the signal and it's also dividing it for us, okay? So it's very, very effective at it and they're a very, very popular product on our website. Now let's look at the alternatives to this. Well, you can go for a step up from here, which is sometime advantageous, but not always. And that's a situation where we have a UHF area that's been fed in, fed to a skybox. And coming out of the skybox, we both have uh, the signal from the sky and the digital channels that we want to distribute around. With this particular one here, it has F-type connectors, which are these screw-on type, which you can see here. And the idea with this would be is that both it can feed the signal from the skybox, the Irish and the sky channels to the different televisions, but also because it has bypass on it or return, it will actually allow you to work a sky eye off and the other televisions, which will allow you to change the channels remotely on the skybox. So that can be advantageous. It has limited uses, but it's there. And once again, it's the UHF input that we'll be using on it. You could feed in a DAB uh, radio area onto it, uh, or an FM. You know, it's an option, not a lot of people use it, but it's there. Now the lowest cost option that you'd have as an alternative to this would be something just using a straightforward passive splitter like this. So what you do is you just feed an aerial in and you feed it out to two, and we have steps up from here, three, four, six, or eight way splitters on it. So they're quite, uh, they can work quite well. You need quite a good signal. The thing with this is that for certain, you know you're going to have a certain level of signal loss. Now it might, if you have a very good signal, it'll make no difference to you. But if you're in a marginal signal area, you're much better off to go with a power distribution system like this can boost it. Now the final thing I'll mention here is you can use another system that's called a massive amplifier and a power unit. But this is a little bit more technically difficult to install. It means underneath your aerial, you have to install this mass amplifier, and then you have to have a power unit underneath. And you use special power passing splitters that will allow the power to pass through from the power unit to the mass amplifier, but will also allow you to split it off to various different rooms. And this is quite effective, um, but uh, definitely far and away, as particularly among DIYers, uh, to use these distribution amplifiers here is the way to go. So that's it, an overview of the TV distribution amplifiers available on tvtrade.ie.